now before we get into this week's vlog we do have a sponsor this video is sponsored by timu if you don't know what timu is timu is an online marketplace where you can shop for everyday necessities i'm talking home appliances home decor feminine products clothing anything you can think of you can find on timu and not only that the products on timu are at a 90 percent discount rate and i mean who doesn't love a sale and not only do you get a 90 percent discount rate you also get free shipping and 90 day return policy if they do happen to ship your products late you do get five dollars back and if there is a price drop so let's say you purchase something this week and next week you see that the price is completely different you are allowed to request a partial return but wait guys there's more if you go right now in the description and download the timu app and use my code joy7344 you get a hundred dollars where you can use on any item on the timu app that is only if you download the app and use my code joy7344 don't say i never share anything with you guys but i did get a huge packet from them and so we are going to open her up. I got a bunch of different things ranging from home decor, feminine products, you name it. So we are going to be using some of these products throughout today's vlog or this week's vlog. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. And the cool thing about it, it came so fast. I literally put in my order, I want to say, end of last week. And my stuff is already here. So we are going to go ahead and go through all of the stuff that I was able to get from Timu. So I already know what this is. These are the packing cubes. I'm sure you guys have seen the girlies on TikTok use these when they are traveling. I just got a bunch of packing cubes, obviously in my favorite color, beige. So I can't wait to try this when I am headed to California. I also got the Stanley Cup, but it's not really the Stanley Cup, but it looks like the Stanley Cup and was a lot more, um, you know, price-wise reasonable. Um, and I just think this is so cute. And of course I got it in one of my favorite colors brown i love that they had like all the varieties of colors and i was able to get a color that i like and so you guys know i'm going to be using this quite a lot i also got a pair of pajama sets and this is so cute and the material is so good. But this is a three piece sleepwear or, ooh, sorry, it's not a three piece, it's a four piece. So I have the dress, ooh, which is so cute. These shorts that comes with a top, oh my God. And I'm pretty sure this is the robe and are you kidding me ah this is so cute i love it i got some socks because you can never have enough socks so i got some black socks i'm telling you you can literally find any Ooh. 
any and everything on this website. And they're so affordable. Um, and you get all of these extra perks that I just freaking love. I got some stuff in my kitchen to organize my kitchen. Um, cute. So this is to put like the uh, Ziploc bag, tin foil, and just kind of keep it cute and organized. So we're going to try that. Next thing is... Oh, home decor piece. So cute. You kidding me? Is that not the cutest? And I can actually put like flowers inside of them like this. I think that is so cute. Some more home decor. I mean, tell me that is not the cutest thing. All right, you guys, so that is all that I got. I got my cute little stuff from Timu. Thank you, Timu, for sponsoring this week's vlog. I can't wait to show you guys all of the little stuff, what I do with them throughout this week's vlog. Once again, thank you, Timu, for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to go down in the description and download the Timu app and use my code right here. Today is Tuesday. Today is, I believe, September 26. It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and your girl is about to go on a hot girl walk with her dog. Um, I'm wearing this Lululemon leggings. Inside, I have a sports bra that is from Target, and the top is a Lululemon as well. And I have my Nike sneakers on, just very comfortable for a nice little walk. I've been getting some packages, I believe, from my PO box. So I'm gonna walk over there and see if I can, you know, pick up the stuff. I don't think I'm gonna walk back, but I am gonna walk there. It is not the best day in Boston. It has been actually quite nasty all weekend. Um, for my last vlog, I went to Chicago. You guys saw that I went to Chicago um, on Thursday. I came back on Saturday. I did not vlog any Chicago stuff on my vlog, but I did film for TikTok. Um, I've decided for fun um, because Bay is usually working and sometimes he will travel nearby um, for work. So I've decided that to pass my time when I'm bored and I'm tired of going out to the same places in Boston, like everybody freaking knows me, um, which is not a problem, but like I kind of want to experience other cities. And when I'm always on my live, um, and on Instagram or TikTok, you guys are like, I live here and, you know, where do I go and stuff like that. So what I've decided is I'm going to go to a bunch of different cities that I've really never explored and, you know, check out their restaurants and see which ones are best for the girlies that want to, you know, freestyle and find them a man. Um, so, yeah, and I decided that I'm going to share that on my website only i'm going to share the tips in all the different restaurants in each various city that i've been to um so chicago is going to go up on my website sometime this week i did talk about traveling to find a potential boyfriend or sugar daddy i just posted a blog about that because i do know that some people live in cities that you know it, are a little more difficult to find men and stuff so I talked about how to travel to potentially go to certain restaurants and um, you know certain hotel bars in different cities that you're not based in and mingle you know if you can afford it obviously so if you work a job instead of going out with your girlfriend to the club and da 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 you know save your money for two weeks and not do that and instead take a flight to you know New York and go to the restaurants in New York, you know. If you're really looking for a man, you have to kind of like broaden 
your options. So I talked about that on my website. So if you want to read all about that, make sure that you subscribe. It is available for all tiers. Um, and I also have a bunch of other things on there for confidence and using dating apps, all of that stuff. Um, it's all going to be on my website. So the next place that I'm heading to is LA. I have been to LA. By the way, if you guys want to watch the TikTok video of Chicago, make sure that you go and follow me on TikTok. Uh, the link is down in my description. The next place that I'm headed to is LA. My friend Bianca, she's going to LA. And so I was like, well, if you're going to be going to LA, I have not really experienced much of LA. I've been a couple of times, but I feel like I was there for, I believe, what was it, like my 22nd birthday I went to LA. I was with my sister and a friend. So it wasn't like I was, you know, over there like checking out all the hot spots and stuff. Um, the second time I was in LA, I was back when I used to be that in a pop So I also was not really going out and checking out different, you know, restaurants and stuff like that. I was, you know, meeting clients and dates, um, whatever you want to call them. So this time around, I am going to explore and you know, check out some of the restaurants and places that some girls had recommended so that I can give you guys, you know, my best tips and ideas um, and advice. And yeah, so that is uh, the plan. But that is until October, mid-October. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys, but I did get into a little fender bender like two weeks ago. So my car is being fixed and will not be available till. Uh, October 16 which is fine because I really don't need to be driving you know I can pretty much walk anywhere and then when I go out I do take um, black cars so I really don't need it so it's not a big deal um, and then my birthday is coming up not in October in November but you know it's coming up so I gotta, I gotta get on my zoom <laughs> Uh -huh. mm. Anyways, so me and Chanel are gonna go for a little walk. I am still doing my <laughs> what the hell? I am still doing my immune boost shots. Uh, this one has energy and immunity, which is perfect because I'm going for a walk. And it's not a short walk, okay? It's going to be at least a 45-minute walk. Um, but that's not too bad, right? It's at least getting up, getting active. Um, traveling to New York for the Fashion Week and then Chicago. Your girl lost her weight and she's back to being skinny, leany. <laughs> okay? So we need to stay on that track because... Your girl was looking a little thick <laughs> but like not thick thick but you know like thick you know but now i'm like back to my goal weight that i like to kind of remain around so yeah mm. still drinking my kombucha um, this one that I'm drinking is the ginger and lemon. It is so good. I actually have two sponsored videos that I have to do. Um, I made my mom my manager. <laughs> I made my mom my manager, um, so I gave her access to my email um, that I use for you know brands and you know possible people that want to collab with me. Um, I you know the, that's the email that I share with those people. Um, I gave her access to that, so she now has access to my emails, and she is my manager. So she is helping me get brand deals and she was my manager for a week and secured me two paying brand deals um so yeah 
Shana, what's the problem? I should feed you before we go. I changed Chanel's food. They should sponsor me, but I changed Chanel's food to this brand called uh, The Farmer's Dog. This is what it looks like. It's like a subscription-based website um, where you get food. It's supposed to be a lot healthier for her. If you guys remember, I was feeding her pedigree, which was not very healthy for her. So I decided to switch her to the farmer's dog. Um, she loves, 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 loves this thing. You can only buy this online and you have to subscribe so that they send food um, on time so that, you know, she doesn't go a couple of days without food. Um, and um also they kind of tell you like the portions for her size and stuff like that so if you guys want to try it out go ahead and try it out um but yeah but she loves the food so i'm gonna actually feed her before we go for our walk so that she has some energy I should actually take out the one I just showed you guys and thaw it out. So that's another thing. The food remains in the freezer until the day that you want to feed her. So then you take it out of the freezer and thaw it out. So I'm feeding her lunch now. She's out of that package. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the next one and thaw it out so that when we get back and she's ready to eat dinner later on, the food will be thawed out and ready for her so let's go ahead and do that um, but back to what I was saying before Chanel interrupted me my mom's my manager I got two brand deals that I have to do since I last got it done. I get them on my forehead. Um, have an appointment tomorrow, so just confirming that. But um, like I said, I walked to the post office. It took me about 40 minutes. Then I took an Uber and I was going to go to Target, but I picked the Target closest to my house. And since I live in the city, the um, Target only had like food and like toiletries like little little stuff but my main focus of trying to go to target was so that i could get some pillows for my bed because i don't think i showed you guys the art that i just put up in the bedroom i'll show you guys when i'm done with my uh groceries took an uber to target just to find out that that target really doesn't have you know what I'm looking for. So I've decided that I'm just gonna order it from CG2 anyways, the pillows that I wanted to put on my bed. Um, and so then after I was like, oh, you know what? I could use a 
couple of things from the grocery store. So I walked back from Target and decided to just stop at the grocery store and get a couple of things. Um, had ran out of eggs, so needed some eggs. Ran out of my Frosted Flakes. Got some of that, got some milk. This is for my cereal. This milk lasts a long time. Like this doesn't expire till December. So I use that for cereal. This is for like coffee and tea. Um, I was looking for those dumplings that you see the girlies on TikTok or should I say G Nice. Um, she's always eating. I was looking for those, but I couldn't find it. So I ended up getting these organic pot tickers. I think that's how you say it, but they're chicken and vegetable dumplings. So I'm going to try these. Um, I got my salmon. Love this. I'm planning on making dinner someday this week. So I got some salmon to make. Got some more of my, um, what do you call these? These uh, poppy healthy gut sodas. Um, I got the ginger lime flavor, the orange flavor, raspberry rose and orange. Then I just got some Ziploc, tin foil, um, some uh, butter. But that's really it. It wasn't like a lot. I just needed a couple of things um, that, you know, I didn't have in the house. So I'm going to put these away. Oh, I got some more of my um, hot and spicy noodles. I love these. I love snacking on these. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I got from the grocery store. So I'm going to put these away. All right, you guys, so now that I put away the groceries, I wanted to try some of the stuff that Timu sent me. I told you guys that I just got um, some tin foil and some Ziploc bags. So I wanted to try this thing because I ordered it um, in hopes that I could, you know, organize my little area here that I have my uh, like Ziploc bags and stuff in. So this is what it looks like. It's wood. It should fit perfectly into the drawer here. So example like this is an old tin foil thing but I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to go in like that and then you pull it out like that right I'm assuming let's see the Ziploc bags And then you can just pull it out one by one. So cute. Um, and I'll just put the new tin foil that I got. So this is what it will look like. So I have a foil paper right here. They did give this so you can easily cut the stuff. Um, and then I have a Ziploc. I just put plastic on there because they didn't have a Ziploc. But plastic is going to go here. You guys know like the plastic wraps. It's going to go in here. And so that way you don't have bolts, junk, 
in your cabinets and it's just so cute and it just fits perfect in there and it closes you see it fits perfectly in here and when I just want my uh, Ziploc bags, I just pull that. When I want some foil paper, I just pull that. And then I'm gonna get some um, plastic wrap and put it here and it just closes. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I finally hung up the uh, art that I had around the house. Um, and so I wanted to get some pillows for the bed um, so that it would be cute and pop, but I wasn't able to get any pillows. And like I said, I think I'm just gonna order them from CB2 or West Um online. Um, so I can get some like cute ones because I was just gonna go get some ones from Target and stuff and just kind of like make it work. Um, but I actually think this is cute. These were not up over the bed in my last place. Um, they were actually in my living room area and I decided to put them in here. And I just think they're really cute there. Um, and then I think I showed you guys the art in the bathroom. These were also in my living room in the old place. And I think they look a lot better in the bathroom. And it just kind of adds like, you know, a little je ne sais quoi from like the mirror when I'm filming and like like that, you know, like my background isn't like plain, um, but yeah. So this is what I ended up doing with the little art man. I think that is cute there. I did put these up here, but I'm definitely gonna move them once my bedside tables are done but i mean it's cluttered right now but you get like the vision right but these are like the cute things that you can find off of uh timu and it's just so cute um yeah so i'm gonna leave that there for now but definitely we'll be moving these two into a different room i mean this is like a vase so we could see if these are cuter i think that's cute it looks like that one up there i think i got that from uh what do you call it um amazon but as you can see like very similar um items except these are a lot more um affordable from timu um but literally same quality uh this is glass you know it's breakable um but yeah i think it looks cute there what do you guys think all right, you guys, so it's been a little bit uh, since I put everything away and was showing you guys the changes that I made around the house. Uh, Bay decided that he wanted to go out to dinner today. So we are about to go check out this new hotel that is in Boston. It's a high-end hotel. They literally just opened last week, so why not go check it out they have a bunch of restaurants i'm thinking i might book myself a little staycation there uh, maybe sometime this week and you know relax check out their spa see what the hotel is given um you know it's my duty to get to know every place in boston that is you know a potential spot for you ladies to find yourself a man um so yeah so me and bear are gonna go check this place out so that I can kind of give you guys a feedback on what I think about the hotel and the restaurants that are, you know, located in the hotel. I believe a couple of them are not open until December, but we are going to go just look around and see, um, check out the hotel bar, you know, see what it's given. So I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I am wearing this Alice and Olivia dress that I got from Saks. If you guys remember, I showed you guys when I 
picked out the dress and I just think it's so cute and it is so cute and perfect with these boots and I think I mentioned that that was like the ideal look that I thought was going to go well with this outfit. Um, so yeah, so I'm wearing my Hermes boots and I'm taking my Hermes uh, bag. This is a Birkin 25 and for earrings, I just have my Van Cleef earrings, Cartier bracelet ring, typical everyday jewelry. And for perfume, I am doing Valentino. And I just think it's really cute. Where did these niggas be at when they say they're going out this and out that? Tired of beefing you pumps, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga's house in this party, I can't even listen to that. Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap. Hey, Shotty come sit on my lap. Hey, they saying Tracy just snap. This is between us, it's not like a store, this isn't a closable gap. Hey, I see some niggas attack, and don't end up making it back. I know that they had the crib going crazy down bad, but they had it in last damn baby. Yeah. Where did these niggas be at when they say they doing all this and all that? Wednesday and this is what I'm doing I'm soaking in the tub and drinking my uh, pop soda and just relaxing I have a Botox appointment at 3 30 so I'm gonna get out of here in about 45 minutes and get ready for it and then I will uh, get on camera and uh, chat with you guys about the restaurant. But I just wanted to come in and show you guys what I was doing. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. And these sodas are so good. So good. All right, you guys, I am back home from my Botox appointment. I've actually been home for quite some time. Um, after my Botox, I did go and get dinner, didn't really record it, um, but I'm back home and I wanted to show you guys the um, pajamas that I got from Timu. I told you guys I was going to be showing you guys all the different things that I got and so I had gotten this, I think it was what, so two, three, four piece set. I do have a one like nightgown um, as well and a robe. I just wanted to show you guys the bottom and the top set that I got for, you know, uh, night wear 
something and go to sleep. They're really cute. I love it. It feels really nice, comfortable. So it is the next day. Today is Thursday, uh, September 28th. <laughs> I was looking at the time. Um, it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I was trying to show you guys the uh, pajama set that I had on last night um, and then my battery died but I was literally already on my way into bed so I decided I was not going to change the battery. Um, but I did wake up this morning, showered and I decided to throw on the rest of the pajama sets that I got. Um, so this one is a one piece dress. This is what it looks like. And it's just the pajama dress. And it's cute, it's sexy, it's elegant. Um, and then I just threw on this robe that came with it because I am about to do some stuff around uh, the closet and if you guys are asking where this is from you guys already know it's from Timu. I actually have this exact um, set of five down in the uh, description so go. Um, anyway, so I have some stuff to do. Today is Thursday, so we know the cleaners are coming. Um, so I've just been trying to get things together um, so that she can come and properly clean. And it is a mess in here. Um, also, I did just add this here. This was not here. So I'm going to put my shoes in here. I think I'm also going to throw some bags in here. But this is going to now be my shoe rack. I'm going to throw some, you know, some of my favorite heels in there. Um, and then I'm going to use this as storage for like my shopping bags and stuff. So like right now I have all my shoes on here. So we're going to move these out and we're going to put them out there. Um, and then use this as storage because I have um, like my filming equipment, um, you know, boxes, my travel stuff. So I kind of want to get this done before the housekeepers come so that there is, you know, nothing in their way as they clean my floors. So yeah, so we just had that put up this morning, um, and yeah, so now we're going to organize, um, yeah, so I'm going to move, like, my, um, Birkin, like that one, I think I'm going to move it over there and put the pink one over there because it gets no sun. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to just, you know, play around and see what we like. Um, so, first things first, let me take everything out of here. I love my bag. She is so cute. Definitely the fave right now well obviously these two um gotta clean off any marks <laughs> that i see because sometimes you know makeup on my hand it just gets on the bag but I am so ready for a more practical everyday color so that I can be outside with my Birkins all the time. So I'm talking like black. Like I have a brown Kelly, you guys know that, but I do love the Birkin 25 style more than anything. So I'm just praying my birthday, my sales associate is nice enough to find one 
for me that is practical. Like, I'll take it in, like, gray, you know? All right, so let's see. We like her up there. Do we? I don't know. I don't know. Like, my thing is, like, I want it to be pretty. <laughs> so, I just feel like the colors, like, all need to coordinate together. You know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. see let's see let's keep going all right you guys the housekeepers are here and I am dressed and ready to go to the nail salon but I wanted to show you guys what I ended up doing with the extra shelving so I put most of my shoes I did them in order from black to gold and then nude in the bottom and then I just moved all the black bags. So the Kelly, all of my black bags. So the Chanel's are in the front and then the other miscellaneous ones are back there. If you hear the noise in the background, it's the housekeepers. Um, and then I just almost kept this area the same except I added my red bottoms on the top. I kept the red with the uh, Dior bag with some more red shoes, the red bottoms, then did the pink, so the pink, well, it's like pink blue Birkin with, you know, my pink shoes, and then the pink Chanel in the back, and then down here I have the Kelly's, the brown, gold, and yellow color-ish going over here, and then this side is just the same, but it is much better. And so now I was able to store a lot of the stuff, like my filming equipment and stuff in here. Um, but yeah, so I am about to go to the nail salon. Let me quickly show you guys my outfit. All right, so I am dressed to go get my nails done. Um, one of the housekeepers are here. If you hear the noise in the background, like I already said, it's the housekeepers they're cleaning. Um, these shorts are from the little small boutique store that I went to um, here in Boston called Hobby John. The shirt is from Zara. The sweater is from Hermes. I'm bringing it because it might be a little chilly outside. It's like 60 degrees. So, you know, if I get cold, I want to throw this over. The shoes are my black Oran sandals. And then I am taking my Birkin 30 in this blue color. Um, yeah, so let's go. First stop, it's the nail salon. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab some lunch at this Italian restaurant and then we're gonna go home. today okay I was soaking in the tub for a very long time um, I just kind of relaxed so that's why you guys have not seen me since yesterday um, it's about 8 40 something and we are about to head to dinner I'm wearing these jeans from Zara I'm pretty sure the top and the jeans are from Zara the bag is my Hermes K 
Kelly bag in black, 32 box leather. Um, the heels are gold. I have my 10 pendant Van Cleef necklace. I have my Van Cleef earrings, my regular Cartier stack. And that is my fit, so let's go. What is this? That's a uh, bluefish pate. Bluefish pate? Yes. Cheers. Some miso soup. Fatty tuna, it has caviar on the top. You know, anything caviar on the air. Second drink. Cheers, baby. All the food has been so good. When I say so good, so good. The food is delicious. <laughs> this is pretty good. What was that? An old fashioned? Yes. this uh, spicy tuna roll. It's good, but I would say like not the best. I would give it like a That's a nine. I'll give it like a seven. It's not bad. It's good. But I feel like I've had better and better presentation. But everything else that we got was literally a ten out of ten. So we a hundred percent will be coming back here. Hazel nut cake for dessert. See how this tastes. Anyway, if you're in Boston, or if you're ever in Boston, come to Uni. You and I. Uni. So good. Overall experience, I would say 10 out of 10. So I am about to go apple picking. Today is a Sunday, October 1st. It is a fall and so we are going to go do some fall activities. Um, my sister and my nephew are going to be with me um, and we're going to go do some apple picking. So I'm just wearing these black jeans, this cute sweater. I'm pretty sure I got this from Zara. 
Um, I got my little Jesus sandals on. I got these from Saks. Um, yeah, the bag is my yellow Chanel because I was going for like a puff of pumpkin vibes. I don't know. I feel like it's a cute little, you know, outfit. Like I didn't want to go too much fall, but you know, wanted to give a little bit of color. But yeah. Anyways, um, I have these earrings on, these hoop earrings. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> All about the glitz and the glam. I do hold some things. <laughs> We're in a tractor. I'm not hiding my um, nephew from the world. I'm hiding the world from my nephew. <laughs> guys so i am back home it is 7 13. um this apple picking day went longer than i intended <laughs> but then again there were so many people um at the location that we went to if you are in massachusetts and you would love to go uh apple picking the place is called honey pot hill um and they do like apple picking and like different things um throughout the year but obviously if you're in massachusetts you know that fall is like one of the you know biggest seasons in the new england area with like the leaves falling um apple picking um you know all the different like fall activities people go to salem for like you know the witch craft it like brings so many people to the state of massachusetts that it's ridiculous so like the place we went apple picking in the honey pot hill packed okay like they had to have been like over 5,000 people in that one location it's a pretty big uh you know company like they have like a lot of land so there are a lot of apples so you know there was enough space for everyone to get apples and stuff uh but it was really packed lots of traffic the lines to get like apple cider. Um, they're famous for their apple cider donuts. So the line was insane. So I wasn't even able to get, uh, you know, any donuts. We did end up having some apple cider, um, which had like a little bit of alcohol in it. Overall, it was a really fun uh, experience. We've done it before, my family. So it was me, my sister, two of my uncles, um, my, my sister's husband and the baby. Um, yeah, so this was all the apples that I ended up picking. I mean, can you guys see how humongous this apple is? Like, they're huge, okay? Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're humongous. This bag is $40. Um, obviously there's still a little space that I could have gotten more, but these are $40, um, and they said this usually can, you know, it's good enough for five people. Um, so my sister's family got one, I got one, um, and it was $40. So overall, 
she spent 40 I spent 40 80 dollars like in a fun day experience took some photos everything so it was good I'm gonna use this to make an apple pie I actually went and bought um, this pan to make the pies I'm gonna make two pies um, I got the press as well I'm not making it today because like I said it is seven o'clock it's been a long day I left the house at 12 o'clock um, but I will most likely probably do them in this vlog um, but yeah but I wanted to show you guys the bag and tell you guys where to go it's called honey pot pill it's in Stowe Massachusetts it's $40 for a bag like this um, and you can fill it up they have hay rides to take you from like one place to the next they have um, apple cider they have apple um, cider donuts they have food trucks so it's like it's a really nice fun experience especially if you have a big family or if you have like kids and stuff um, they have pumpkins so you can take pictures with your pumpkins or you can buy pumpkins so that you can carve them out it's just overall like a nice fun experience or something to do with the family um, and it's actually very inexpensive as well so if you guys get a chance make sure you go and get yourself some apples for the rest of today i think i'm just gonna stay in i literally just changed into these short this uh white white beater um it's funny how they really call these white beaters anyway so yeah i'm just gonna stay in and i've decided that i'm gonna make myself a cocktail um and it's been a very long time since i made a dirty martini so I'm going to make myself a dirty martini and I'm going to drink it. You guys know dirty martini is literally just your choice of vodka, some olive and olive juice and some ice and a shaker. So we're going to pull those things out and then we are going to make ourselves a uh, dirty martini. <laughs> and that's how we are ending our Sunday. So boom, this is all you need to make your dirty martini at home. So we have the vodka this one is a Tito's if I was out I would probably do a Grey Goose um, you know there's also Belvedere so there are different types of vodkas but this is what I have in the house and this is actually also very cheap vodka um, I think this like big bottle was like uh, 20 bucks <laughs> um, your olives these are organic pitted green olives um, with no stuff in. Some people like blue cheese um, stuffed olives. I just like regular plain olives. Um, or sometimes I like the ones with the seeds. But if I'm making a martini, I usually go with the one that's uh, unseeded. You need your shaker. Usually there would be ice in here if I was, you know, doing bottle service and like bringing this to a table somewhere um so this is obviously an ice tray by the way i got this matching uh cocktail stuff i got it from uh, i'm pretty sure crate and barrel so cb2 um so you need your shaker we're not going to be using this today because we don't need a bunch of ice Obviously, this is to get ice out of the bucket. We're not going to use that. Um, and since we're having olives, I got this from Crate and Barrel, and it is um, reusable uh, olive picks. So this is all we really need. I'm going to get some ice in my shaker. Some people like their martinis uh, stirred, not shaken. I can do both. Either one's fine with me. Um, I'm going to do shaken today. So I got my ice in here. I'm going to get a shot glass. This isn't really a shot glass, but I got this stuff from Amazon and it's just the cutest thing to measure um, liquids. So I'm going to put this much vodka to start. 
if you know a dirty martini is pretty much all a vodka. So this is the amount of vodka that I'm gonna use. Pour that in here. I'm gonna open my olives and I'm gonna pour just the olive juice in here. Depending on how dirty you want it, I like mine's a little extra dirty. So I'm gonna put this much, which is basically half of the amount of vodka I use. And I'm gonna throw that in there. Then you're gonna put the lid back and you're gonna shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. Shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Woo, cold, 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 cold. <laughs> shake, 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 shake it. Okay, I think that's enough. Whoo, that gets really cold. Okay, we are going to grab our martini glass. And if you know, you know the martini glass matters, okay? I need me a proper martini glass. Like, do not give me a martini in a shitty glass, okay? Sorry if the lighting is a little weird from down here. I just want you guys to be on the level that you guys could see what I was doing. Please make sure that if you're ever gonna serve a martini at your home, you get the proper martini glass, okay? This is a martini in a Cosmo glass. I will show you another version, a shorter version. I don't really like it, but this too could be a martini glass, though I think this is a little bit more feminine. This is a little bit more masculine. So like if a man was to order a dirty martini or a martini, you can serve them, you know, in this. And if a woman orders a martini, you serve it to her in this. This is also a cosmopolitan glass, okay? Just just a little uh, glassware knowledge. Oh, oh, Jesus, hold on. Okay. Whew. That is... Draw. Ooh. <laughs> so once you are done and it's time to pour your drink, you take this, you push it in here like this. I honestly didn't even know that it was supposed to go like this. I just found this out. And you just pour your drink. Ooh, 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 ooh. some extra and then you're going to take your olives and you're just going to take a couple like this and you are going to garnish your martini. And you garnish your martini. And voila guys, that is how you make a dirty martini using vodka. Cheers bitches. <laughs> Let's have a taste test. Yep, tastes just like the ones from Ava Louise. Mm. Bye. <laughs> Alright, guys. So it is the next day. Today is a Monday, October second. It is two forty in. Oh, sorry. Actually, it's three o'clock. Um, in the afternoon, I am about to head out. The reason why I'm just now coming on camera is because I literally have been working all morning. I was editing and usually when I'm editing, there's really not much to come on camera and tell you guys. Um, 
but I have taken a pause from editing because I am about to go do something really exciting. I'm not going to share it yet because I don't want you guys to get excited in this vlog. So when it happens, it happens in its own vlog. But I am on my way to go check on a birthday gift or a potential birthday gift. Um, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing these dress pants from this little boutique here in Boston on the street, Charles Street. It's in the Back Bay area. Um, it's called Phoebe John. It is super cute. Um, I actually was doing a hot girl walk when I encountered this store. And I ended up going in because I saw dress pants on their mannequins and I had been looking for long or should I say tall girl friendly dress pants. I shop online, it's kind of hard to determine where they're going to end um, on my ankles. So it was nice to go in there, try on their pants and I got like three different colors um, and it's super cute. The top is also from a Phoebe John. Um, as you can see, I'm doing like this business casual look with this turtleneck short sleeve um, sweater top-ish and the dress pants. So all from the same little boutique store here in Boston. The shoes are my Oasis Hermes sandals and for a pop of color, just because I'm doing all brown, I'm going to be taking my classic Chanel that I showed you guys in my last um, vlog when I unboxed it. And yeah, this is the look. I don't really have much jewelry on. I have my Van Cleef earrings um, and then just my regular everyday Cartier, um, you know, stack with my engagement ring and everything. So yeah. We are about to go check on something. Let's go. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyways, it's a beautiful day outside. The sun is out. It's been super gloomy all week, but the sun finally came today. It is only 70 degrees outside, so it's really not that exciting, but it's supposed to be like 80 something degrees tomorrow. So maybe we'll go on a hot girl walk. Take this overboard now. I want you to feel that heat, and we can ride the boogie, share that heat of love. I wanna ride the love, the love, the love, all night. Working in the middle of 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 the middle Yesterday, I came on camera and I told you guys that I was going to go inquire about one of my birthday gifts. Um, I did not take you guys along um, because obviously it's a surprise. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, and then, um, but before that, I told you guys that I was editing um, prior to having to go to the appointment. Um, so that vlog is up right now. I actually finished it today. That's why I'm just now coming on camera at 5 o'clock in the afternoon because I was editing all day and I got that video up and I am about to launch it. Um, as you guys saw, I was just cooking um, or I'm cooking because I'm not done cooking. I just put some chicken in the oven so I was feeling like I wanted some jerk chicken today. <laughs> So I had found this sauce I showed you guys um, and honestly it is literally the best jerk like rub I have ever tried um, and so the jerk chicken comes out tasting just like how Jamaican jerk chicken tastes. 
Um, so yeah, so I felt like making some today. Um, tidied up a little bit and yeah. So today has been, I guess, a productive day. It just sucks that it's just now that I'm coming on camera um, to talk to you guys. But you know, I did not put a timer on how long I plan on cooking the chicken for. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I personally don't do timers when I cook. I just taste it and I can tell if it's cooked or not. Like I can look at chicken and tell you if it's cooked or not. So I love my house at this time of the day. Like the sun setting. It's just so cute, you know? And like I don't need the lights on. I could just you know, but the sunset is so pretty. If I wasn't a lazy hoe, which we all know that I am, I totally could be shooting so many amazing like photos in here, um, but I'm lazy, so yeah. <laughs> Usually when I'm in the house, I just want to be in the house, so I look bummy. You know, if you see me with a wig on, looking semi-decent on camera, it's because I'm doing it for you guys, okay? But as soon as I'm done with this, this wig is coming off, period. Um, but yeah, I have gotten into this martini mood again, and I need to stop because um, I don't know if you guys remember when I first came on YouTube at my old place, I used to drink martinis like crazy. Um, and I, for the last two days, have made myself a martini at home, um, which has been something that I took pride in, like not drinking at home, other than like maybe some wine, like I have a glass of wine, but like I try not to drink at home. Um, I might have some champagne at home, but like hard liquor, I try not to drink that when I'm at home, like I keep it light. Um, so yeah, it's not good that these last two days I decided to make a martini. <laughs> but I was just craving a dirty martini. Um, and I really didn't feel like leaving the house to go get the dirty martini because I didn't feel like getting dressed. So yeah. Anyways, that's what's going on today. Um, yeah, I have nothing important to tell you guys. Literally nothing. Okay. Alright you guys, it is the next day. Today is Wednesday. I'm about to go for a little walk. Me and Chanel. Um, I have no way particular that I'm walking to, but I am going to walk to a Sephora because I'm pretty sure there's a Sephora nearby that I can walk to. Um, so we're going to see if I can end up there so I can go into Sephora because I need a couple of things from Sephora. Um, yeah, but aside from that, I literally have not been doing anything today other than just hanging around the house, just lounging. I took a nap <laughs> earlier. Um, I woke up, I want to say six o'clock. I took a nap around 12 and I woke up at one. It's now 2.53. Um, I actually rebraided my cornrows underneath my wig. That's another thing that I did. Um, I didn't really show you guys that, but I can sometimes kind of like mistreat my natural hair when it's, you know, in wigs because I have like cornrows and stuff. Um, I can sometimes, you know, not treat it properly, like not rebraid it in time, you know, just kind of prolong the whole thing. So I decided to rebraid it today. Um, so yeah, I feel much better. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go for a walk. It's not like a exercise walk, but it's just to like get out of the house. It's literally 80 degrees in October in Massachusetts. Like, are you kidding me? It is October 4th and it is 80 degrees outside it was 80 degrees outside yesterday as well but i had to do my video um so i ended up not really leaving the house um other than taking the dog out but today i want to go and kind of taking a little bit of sun um you know enjoy the weather so i am wearing these green shorts 
Got them from Phoebe John. It's a little boutique store here in Boston. The shoes are my brown on sandals. This white top is from Saks. And I have my yellow classic Chanel. Just kind of, you know, going for a little walk. I'm going to put my earbuds in, listen to some music, and take in the sun. So, guys, so I am back home. Ended up going to Sephora. Um, grabbed some lunch, had a glass of wine, went to CVS, and then walked back home, me and Chanel. Um, I did not intend on doing this, but I ended up buying a Dyson. <laughs> and if you know Dysons, you know they're not cheap. So I ended up getting this Dyson straightener, um, mainly because I think I left my straightener that I had gotten from like Sally's Beauty. I think that one was like 75 bucks. I think I left that in the hotel in Chicago. So I had to buy a new straightener and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and invest some money and get the proper one. I think I'm still gonna buy a different one to travel with because you don't wanna lose a Dyson anything <laughs> because they're not cheap. They're actually pretty expensive um, for, you know, a uh, hair equipment or whatever you wanna call it. I'm trying to get this opened. What the inside looks like. Pull it out. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Also, I've decided that I'm going to try it, and if it's not worth the hype, I'm most likely going to return it. But it comes in this velvet, I'm assuming, a travel bag or travel pouch. And then here is the straightener in this rose gold color. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited to try this. It's good for like that blow dry, effortless look apparently. So I'm excited to try that out. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I'm I'm going to assume this is to charge it. Um, and then there's something else in here. Which, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the cord. To, yeah, this is the cord to charge it because it is cordless or wireless. Um, so you charge it and then you can use it um whenever however like if you want to walk around the house and straighten your hair you can do that so it comes with a cord to charge comes with a charger um yeah so i'm excited about trying this i just decided that it was time for me to invest in a nice straightener and stop buying the you know cheap ones but like i said I'm going to try it, and if I don't like it, I'm going to return it <laughs> because it was 500 bucks. okay? It wasn't cheap. Um, I also got a bunch of things from Sephora. I did throw, like, the stuff I got from CVS in here. So this I got from CVS, just some um, hair clips. I also got some hair ties because, oh, my God, the annoyance of trying to find one of these when you really need it. It's just too much. So I decided that I'm gonna get a bunch. And I'm gonna have a little container and I'm gonna put them in there in my bathroom. So when I'm doing my hair, when I wanna go out, you know. Oh, I also went and got some Benadryl from a CVS. Because oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm allergic to grass. And when I went apple picking with my sister and the baby, 
I sat on hay, which is dry grass. So they had like this hay ride. I sat on it and I've just been having an allergic reaction on my body. Like you guys can't see it um, because it's very like subtle, but I've been having like rash like on my arms, like on my thighs, because like that's where I was sitting on the hay ride. So I got some adult Benadryl so that I could take it and heal. But for um, Sephora, for like the products other than the um, Dyson straightener, I got this Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss 3 uh, different flavor combo thing. I did already open it and I tried the um, Claire Lip Gloss. Not like the Beauty Supply Lip Gloss, because if you know me, you know I love me some beauty supply lip gloss, okay? They're like a dollar. But they are so popping. Like the most glossy lip gloss that I've ever, ever used, okay? Like nothing beats beauty supply lip gloss. <laughs> um, but I just decided that, you know, I wanted to try some of this Fenty Beauty. I've had a Fenty Beauty lip gloss before, but that was like a while ago. So I wanted some of that. I got some new beauty blenders. I got three of them. So this black and pink one, because you can never have enough of those. Got some, um, I re-upped on my toner. If you guys know, you know I've been talking about this brand. I use their face wash and I use their toner. And this is what has literally helped me with my adult acne um, prior to using their um, face wash and their toner I used to get like adult acne like bad like the ones that is like underneath your skin that hurts ever since I started using their product I've not experienced as much um, you know hormonal or adult acne so I can't recommend that enough. I also got some Laura Mercier um, setting powder. I got two different ones. This one is medium deep ultra blur. And then I got this one for a more brighter under eye. It's the translucent honey powder. So I wanted to try both of them. Um, I have used their setting powder before I ran out so re-upped because right now I have the one size um, setting powder but I wanted to try some of that. I got this uh, Fenty Beauty Freestyle Highlighter Duo. It is in the shade Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. That is the two shades. I can open it and show you guys what it looks like. And this is what the shades look like for the highlight. And I just thought these colors would look good on me. So look at that. Got some Kiel Ultra, or Kiel's, sorry, Ultra Pure High Potency Serum. It's their Hydraulic Acid. I have used this before, so I was just getting another bottle because I ran out. Um, I use this morning and night time when I do my facial routines. I got a Dior Natural Bronzer. Um, yeah, I got this a bronzer. It's from the brand Dior. I'll show you guys what it looks like. The packaging is so cute. And this is what it looks like. Just perfect for my shade. So I'm excited to try that. Another thing I got from Dior is this blush in the color Rosy Glow. 
Um, I will show you guys. It's like coral. And it is so cute. And I think it would be so cute for my skin for a blush. So this is what it looks like. Don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, like cute. I'm excited to try that out. That was just for me to try. Um, I got this lip liner from this brand Pillow Talk. Um, it is so cute. This is the shade um, Intense. And it is so cute. It's like the perfect brown. My last video, I was trying to line my lips with some uh, lip liners that I got. And it just wasn't given. My blush just fell. This It's not good to do it after you put lip gloss on already. But this is like more my color. You guys probably can't see it because I really didn't do much. But yeah, I just got another lip liner. <laughs> um so there's that I got a couple more things in here the last two things are pretty much lip glosses so this one is from Dior it's their lip glow and it just looks like this and it's just I'm pretty sure just clear lip gloss or oh okay this is different. Oh, it smells good. Okay, so this one's like a, I would say it's like a lip glow chapstick because it doesn't give me like that, you know. It's like this is something you would carry just to keep your lips moisturized, but it doesn't give you like that glossy look. Then the other thing I got is from the brand Boxum. And it's a plump shot lip gloss. So I like using these to give like that illusion of like lip fillers. I don't have lip fillers, but you know, once in a while I will put one of these on and it just makes your lips like plumper. And I don't know. I love that so it just gives that illusion of like um lip fillers but you don't actually have lip fillers <laughs> um but yeah so that is all the stuff that i got from sephora um it is now about five o'clock in the afternoon i think i left the house around 2 30 so it's like five o'clock the sun is setting as you guys can see obviously um i am loving my shelf with my shoes that i have here i think it came out so nice and it just makes the room look a lot more like organized and even and i love the fact that it's like all silver black and gold heels out here and then like all my black bags are up there you guys can see but you see like all the black bags so I don't know, I think it just added a better feel in this room. Um, but yeah, so that was all I got from a Sephora. That was pretty much all I did today. Um, fed Chanel, she was with me the whole time. She enjoyed herself. It's nice to take your dogs out for like long walks, you know? Um, and I feel like this summer I've done that quite a lot with her. And so I feel like a good dog mom. <laughs> because before, um, doing long walks with the dog was really not my thing. Um, but it's a lot easier when you're literally in the center of the city. Because, you know, you like actually get to like see other people that are walking around. There are restaurants you can stop and have a drink walk to the public gardens like there's a lot more 
going on in this area versus like where I used to live before for, you know, going on that long walk with my dog. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the night, but I'm going to try to put this stuff away, organize it. My closet needs a reorganized day. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. Um, and then we're going to go from there. I might go out tonight. I don't know. It is only Wednesday, so we'll see. Oh, uh, I completely forgot. Okay. Why did I order these shoes? I think I ordered these for the last time I was going to Turks and Caicos, which was what? May? Was it May? No, because I moved in here in May. So I think it was in April. Me and Bay went to Turks and Caicos. And I remember because I ordered some gold heels, some silver heels. Matter of fact, um, the silver heels are right there and the gold heels are right there. And I had also ordered some white heels. Um, I don't understand why I'm just now getting these. Like my um old building manager for my old building where i used to live texted me and was like you have a package and i was like what the hell um and because as you guys know i now have a p.o box i was like did they mistakenly like with my p.o box send the packages that people are sending for me to my old address so i go and pick it up why is it a pair of shoes that i ordered five months ago completely forgot that i even ordered these okay and they just never came i guess but like i literally did not remember that i had ordered them and they're these Stuart weitzman white heels <laughs> i mean like very random you know like it literally happened when was it oh the day that not yesterday but was it the day before monday i went to inquire about like one of my birthday gifts that i was you know thinking of getting then my old building manager was like i think you have a package here so right after that i went ahead and i picked up the package and it's these steward whitesman white heels <laughs> very basic plain shoes <laughs> um but you know what whatever i got them they're nice to have um you know i don't think i have any white heels like this very like basic goes with everything a type of heel that's white so yeah i think i'm gonna hold on to them <laughs> um yeah these are cute these are in the eight and a half size as you can see in the bottom um but yeah completely forgot to show these to you guys <laughs> nothing exciting but i wanted to show you guys i'm gonna go continue um putting these things away and throwing out the boxes and trash and then I will chat with you guys in a little bit. Come around and I run. It's for Eric and love when I share it. Let's talk about Frankie. I love when he's banging. You know what I'm on. It's for Gerald. I'm at.